Hey, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Phoenix Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family. Okay, so I know, I know before y'all start getting me in the comments, I know. Mercy, it's almost two days off. Well, you're right, it was. But I'm back now. <laughs> I got Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for all my beautiful Scorpios. I thank you for their life. I thank you for their for their purpose. I thank you for Heavenly Father, just their powerful being and where and where we're heading. Victory is our portion. We walk in and we receive it. Amen. Uh, uh, I feel like I should have said something else. I'm trying to see, scan my brain. Um, anything that rises up against us, let it fall down immediately. Let our power be put before us. Let every every step we take us into opportunities and victory and blessings. Hmm. We are protected by the powerless beings that exist. We are protection. Yeah, that sounded about right. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna do a little quick read, real quick, and let's. These questions. Spirit, what is it that the collective needs to know right now? What is my most courageous thing I've done? How did it make me feel? Okay. Um, Spirit is saying there's going to be something that is going to call you uh, to really step out on faith and just go for it. Scorpios, right now, we're in this er energy of very uh, empowering. We are very powerful. You can feel it when you talk, when you walk into a place. It's like you command the attention of those around you. And uh, it's like this stark quality you have. People are seeing it. Like I said, people are gravitated to you. Uh, right now, Spirit is saying that there's going to be an opportunity that you're about to walk in, Collective. And, uh, oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, I apologize. I really do. Oof. Last night, I wasn't... Okay, so then we have... Um, so with this courageousness, spiritually, there's something you're going to have to step out on faith and just go for it. And also, remember the last time that... Uh, last time you had to do something that was kind of like out there and daring? How did that make you feel? What was the outcome? And then the next question, Spirit, wants you to ask yourself is, what if everything is as it should be? How would that make me feel? So Spirit says, right now, uh, I feel that some of you Scorpios, you are going through things where if it's if it's going to be dealing with you taking uh, some type of step of courage to move into a new beginning, uh, Spirit saying, if, if that energy is around you now, uh, what if this is how it's supposed to be? Because I feel like a lot of you guys are walking into and experiencing new things, new relationships, new um, partnerships, you know, and, and, and it's more of the upbeat loyal. So it's like, Scorpio, I feel like we're moving into a time where we're going to have to really how should I say, observe ourselves, you know, make sure that uh, we are not uh, partaking in any self-sabotaging uh, habits. And also, um, Spirit is saying, and if things are, are, are not really going in the way that you desire, then remember, it, well, what do you need to change about that situation to get the best outcome that you want? Because we know we are gods. We know we can create. So what are you focusing on? So it just really brings you back to yourself. What are you doing that 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 that's hindering you from this this breakthrough? And this could be uh, self sabotaging, self talk. You know, you could oh, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Little things like that, like you may not think about it, but little negative things like oh, I ain't gonna be able to do that, man. I man, I can't do this, or or man, it's not gonna work in my favor. Words like that, no matter how minute they may seem, they still play an impact in your outcome. And because we are wise and we're ever evolving, we know that. So you have to be mindful. Don't play around. Don't don't think of it as, oh, I just said that. That doesn't mean anything. It does. Your words are, you speak spells with your words. That's why it's called spelling. When you say it, it is a spell. Anyway, messages of love and life are my beautiful, powerful Scorpios. Okay, so right now, um, I feel like collective, you're about to get real busy. 
Oh, collective. I feel like there's an opportunity that's coming in where you're going to have to re be uh, really busy. I feel like there's going to be a lot of traveling coming in. People are trying to get at you, but I feel like there's an opportunity that's coming in that is uh, going to take, is, that is going to uh, require you to really just go for it, you know, without fear, without doubt, without second guessing it or or questioning that this type of opportunity can, can, can come to you because this opportunity can come to you. It is coming to you. You are currently in it. So with that, uh, expect to be very busy. I feel like whatever you're doing for work, your work is starting to pick up. I feel like you have more ships coming in that you're that you're not even paying attention to because you're just you're going fully you're just focusing on work right now and i feel like there's some things that are coming in oh you the high priestess scorpio so you already know <laughs> why is it every time i do a scorpio read a high priestess scorpio i'm like you already know <laughs> you already know what's coming for you you already know you know, already know. You do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Who do you love? Is that that song? Who do you love? Ooh. Oh, snap. Yo, collective. Because the song is Who Do You Love? I feel like this has something to do with some type of love as well. Oh, I like that pink and green color. It's really pretty. Yeah, so. Yeah. So. Mm. Mm. Also, this is, could be somebody that was from your past, too, that's coming in. I feel like they're... I know, Mercy. Because it's in the past position, so I got to say it. Okay, so I feel like this is somebody from the past coming in who was juggling you in the past, who 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 have missed their ship, and now they're coming back towards you. To They're being courageous, want to come towards you. And I feel like you feel this person's energy already. You know somebody is coming towards you. And... Uh, and you're leaving it. You're leaving it with the with the six of swords. Your energy is moving away from whoever this was. Moving on to karma water. So for a lot of you Scorpios, this is both playing out in both angles. Somebody is trying to come in who was juggling, act like they was too busy in the past, and and so they're having courage to trying to move forward to you because they've been gone so long. You already know this. And not just that, but you know that there's something that has probably already came that is uh, moving you on mentally from this situation and on to calmer waters. And I feel like right now, me, it's all about you, Scorpio. It is all about you. I feel like luck is on your side. Your spirit guides are all over this. You're, you're very intuitive. Your eyes are wide open. You can see energies from people. You are so delicate yet powerful. And people feel that. People fear you. Unbeknownst to yourself. Because you are this. It's something about your mystery that people are really gravitating towards right now, Scorpio. You're, you have this energy of power that is surrounding you, believe it or not. Yeah, look, we got the two of swords in reverse. So this is somebody finally making a decision to actually come towards you who was a uh, juggling they believe that they have a really strong connection with the two of with the two of pentacles and a two of swords it's like a, a coupling of two so they feel like you're their person i feel like they feel like they could build with you and they also feel like you already made your decision because the two of swords in reverse is is pretty much like well for for this right now is that you know somebody made a decision to move f towards you but you already got you already made your decision to move away from this person like I'm already mentally gone and and now uh I feel like because you have been oh yeah you got the ace of wands you're mentally gone because Scorpio let me find out y'all got something new coming in or something new that came in that you passionate about that's changing the way you seeing things and now whoever this person is that's coming in 
Mm, Scorpios. It's like transforming you. I feel like this person wants to, um, is passionate about, it's like a home uh, building a kingdom with you, Scorpio. And you've made a decision to leave the past. And also, not just that, but leave because I feel like you have uh, other options that's coming in because you're busy right now. So you're looking real good. And you already know your, 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 your blessings of victory is coming in for you. I feel like people in your past coming in, but you already cutting them off because you could already have something else that, that's there that's, that's uh, got that good. Yeah, this is an ending in the beginning. It's so tight how this just came out though. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay, so this is the the end card, right? So right here, here's the uh the one and the two, the two of swords. So you made a decision to move on to something that you're passionate about because the death, which is a Scorpio card, you y'all already know what I say. If the death, the towel, or the beautiful empress come out, those are our cards. So it is like death for the other person, rebirth for you. It is like uh, the towel for the other person, emerging for you. So right now, you're ending everything in the past and you know you end in stuff like i feel like scorpio 11 11 like you letting go of people so quick it's like man next level please you like level me up <laughs> but there's a lot of endings and there's a lot of, a lot of new beginnings see the baby right there a lot of new beginnings coming down but you have to tear down this old false world mm. message scorpio Spirit is saying you are tearing down your old world. Whatever was your old reality, you are completely letting that shit go. You are completely letting people go. If it was tied to the past, it's time to let it go. And you are letting it go. And because of that, everything is new. This is like... Spirit is saying, what if everything was meant to be the way it is now? How you have moved forward, how you have like going into like it was meant for this to happen so that you could move forward and and just be a whole new you. This is like a whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. A dazzling place I never knew. But when we're way up here, it's crystal clear. And now I'm in a whole new world with somebody that's going to make you very, 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 very uh, passionate and light. Like somebody's going to transform a situation. All right, let me get to, sorry, y'all. I got carried away. Messages 11, light. That's my shit. All right, yep. Sunglasses. You got a lightweight stalker. Of somebody stalking you. Uh, watching, looking, gaslighting, uh, focusing out. So this person is not able to focus on what they're supposed to be doing because they're so busy watching you. We have mirroring, mirroring each, each other. I feel like if this is the new beginning, this person is going to mirror you. And this feels like you could be ending a situation where, 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 where it was a real uh, spiritual connection and you're moving into something that could be... Uh, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it could be like a real close spiritual connection that's going to come in that that's going to be healing and it's going to reveal reveal to you each other's wounds. So it could be like twin flame because that's the first thing that came up to my mind when I saw the two of pentacles, the two of swords. All I need is the let me just whatever. All right, so we got the cassette out out outdated thinking. The person from the past that's coming in, they're still thinking about things that happened in the past, and that's why it was taking them so long to even move forward towards you. But um, but it seems Scorpio, you're ending things right now. And then we have passion, and passion is right over the the Ace of Wands, which is a passionate card. So I feel like right now, Scorpio, you're moving into a passionate uh, era where I feel like this is what it says, insane chemistry, like one another. So, so this is a new person that's coming in while you're moving somebody away. And Spirit is saying, what if everything is as it should be? How would that make you feel? So what if you letting go of everybody had promoted you to move forward? How does that make you feel just thinking like that? Is it worth it? But Spirit said, there's passion move coming in. And this is a whole brand new beginning. All right, Scorpios. If any of that makes sense, like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. I love y'all. Love yourself. Remember, man, we are gods. You already know what's coming. 
and it a lot of enders, a lot of new beginnings, and a lot of passions, Scorpios. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye.